So today I have two races for you. The first one I'm trying to get my first win in the Cadillac ATS, which if you didn't know handles like a boat. And we also had a bit of a subtle rammer which tried to stop us. And for the second race, I tried getting a win in the Ferrari 488 Evo, but something a bit annoying happens which doesn't make it that easy. So we line up in pole position for the first race in the Cadillac ATS around Indianapolis for this one. And uh, yeah, for this race, like I was saying, I'm gonna try aim to win the race. I believe it is my first race in this car. See straight from the off, Mr. Chunk Dirty is making a little bit of contact coming down into turn one. We're almost going far wide through the first couple of corners. We've got Frasher in the Hurricane who's trying to go around the outside through turn two, but we managed to push him out somewhat. But I don't know if you've seen the previous videos, but I absolutely hate this car, the Cadillac, uh, which I kind of um, come to experience from my time leveling it to level 50 as we lost the position of P1 to Mr. Chunk Dirty uh, coming down the second longest straight round here. It's going to go very defensive coming into the heavy braking zone here for this left-hander as we come into the S's. Can we possibly go around the outside? We'll get a bit of a, uh, a contact from Frasher there in the Hurricane once again, uh, but nothing too serious as we come through the S's. Uh, we're still managing to keep onto the back of Dirty through there. He isn't happy to get through uh, or get away from us all that much but like I was saying I really dislike the car uh, it feels like the F1 game which if you might have heard if you've seen the other videos it's quite heavy on the front end uh, which a lot of cars in the GT series have uh, but it has on throttle overseer quite drastically it might be because of the setup I've got uh, I can't quite remember it's just sort of one I've downloaded I think it's like one of the five star ones on the sort of normal setup page uh, but yeah, I really dislike um, the way the car feels. It's not like a natural oversteer. It just feels like the, the F1 game oversteer, which is sort of on throttle. Uh, but coming down into turn one on lap two, we're putting Mr. Dirty under a lot of pressure as we come through turn one here. And he's not really getting away from us. I think we do have a bit more pace than him, a slight bit more. We did manage to put it on pole, but that oftentimes that does happen when... Um, sometimes I can't... Well, it happens to me a lot. I don't know if it happens to anyone else, but sometimes when you qualify a lot higher than than your position in the race you'll usually lose a lot of positions because I feel like my race pace is kind of off my quality pace by quite a bit it should be about a second in, in, in reality uh, compared to soft and mediums but I think it's about 1.5 1.8 on, on average uh, behind so I probably need to up that up in the future but coming through the S's once again yeah, Mr. Dirt is not really getting away from us. We're just keeping in that draft, unsettling his car. And as we come out of the S's, he's made a mistake onto the grass there. And we've managed to take P1 once again. So this win is still on the cards around here, which I'm really wanting to do. I think this is the first race I'm doing in this car. I've also got the Ferrari uh, 488 after this, which is also my first race in that, which I'm trying to win. So two races and uh, two new races in the new cars, which I'm trying to win. But we've come to... Lap 3 now coming down into turn 1, we can see we get a massive dive bomb from Mr. Dirty there. And uh, yeah, it was some sort of dirty moves there. So like I was saying, he's a bit of a subtle rammer this guy unfortunately. And he's going to be a bit of a problem come to the end of the race. I'm going to be very cautious uh, of him in this race. You can see he makes a little bit of contact once again, almost spins us around. And he's just playing a little bit dirty. He's not really uh, being a massive rammer where he's shoving us off, but he's just doing a little tactics dive bombing us touching us in the back and uh, you'll see quite a bit more and uh, something rather odd happens at the end of the race as well uh, which makes it pretty close if we win it or not but we come to lap five now and we're still under a lot of pressure from Dirty as we're coming to this right hand here right hander here which can be quite hard uh, to get right you can always cut that corner but like I say once again he's made contact with us once again pushed us out onto the grass only a slight bit and he's managed to get through but he does have a 2.6 second penalty and uh, I think that was his plan just to try and nudge us off and try extend the gap on the last lap but I promise you it's not going to be that easy as we come to the last lap now through the S's once again and the gap hasn't managed to extend over 2.6 his plan has somewhat failed to work and uh, you're going to see something rather odd happen which I haven't seen happen before I think apart from once with another rammer he decides to slow down i have no idea what he's doing um and uh, you're gonna see here i'm not gonna go, go for the overtake because i just have a sneaky feeling that he's gonna try rammers off and uh, go for for first position 
but coming through the final corner, he tries going on the gas. It's, it's a bit like DRS chicken. And uh, yeah, coming through the final corner, hits into the barrier. We managed to make the move on track and we managed to hit our goal of winning the race in the Cadillac ATS round here, which was, uh, I was very pleased with that, but a very weird ending to that one. But we are now in the Ferrari 488 for the second race around mid Ohio, which is a bit of an odd track. Uh, I will say for these cars, the GT3s, I think there is some GT4s because uh, I don't know if anyone else has seen the new Janetta G45, I believe it is, the GT4, which for some reason is a lot faster than a lot of the GT3s, which makes zero sense. Uh, but I know Turn 10's little tactics, what they do with the new VIP cars, they tend to make them a lot faster than the rest of the cars just so people buy their VIP pass more, which I'm not too fussed about. I've got the pass. Uh, I'm just happy it's not a monthly thing where I'm forking out, you know, £10 a month. Uh, as along with any other service like Netflix and Spotify you, you pay for I hate the monthly sub subscriptions um, trend what's going on uh, I know that Ubisoft are trying to do it now with their games and there's the game pass which I just hate that sort of way of paying for things because you never really own anything uh, but uh, we'll put that rant to the side and uh, we'll focus on the race for this one and uh, yeah we're just trying to win this one you can see we're only level 5 and uh, it's our first race in this car which isn't the fastest i will say it's, it's definitely not the fastest in the series and uh, coming through the final corner we came under a bit of pressure there and unfortunately made a mistake into the grass so now we've got two laps to make up two positions once again fortunately we haven't lost too much time the gap to first is only two seconds at this point so there's still a lot of time to be found and uh, we were somewhat keeping it ahead of the guy in the ford mustang who i believe is prestige one so he, is, uh, he might have a bit more experience in that car. I'm not quite sure how good the Ford Mustang is compared to other cars. We can see they've got the Lexus RCF in front of us, which I believe it's that, the Hurricane and the Dodge Viper, which are the best cars in the series. Of course, you've got the Janetta G45, the GT4, which at the moment is the fastest, but I'm guessing they often do nerf them cars after about a week or whatever. The um, It just makes no sense to have a GT4 a second faster than all these GT3s. It just... Yeah, it's a bit odd to have it, uh, but we'll come back to the racing here. We're just trying to uh, force weight or WX8 uh, into a mistake around here. It's a very tight and small track, so uh, to try and make a move on someone, it's quite frustrating and hard to do. Uh, and he does have the straight line speed over us in that car, which a lot of the VIP cars tend to do is a lot have a, a lot better straight line speed. They're not necessarily better in the corners, but the straight line speed is a lot better which makes it quite annoying because oftentimes you can't overtake because the straight's the best time to to overtake a car but we come on to lap five now the gap's about the same we're somewhat closing down the gap to first position it went to 1.9 for a second but we just need to get past this guy as soon as possible on this second to last lap but it's extending on the straight once again it's a a good little battle we're having here as we come through this hairpin at the top of the track if we can square off the corner v off the corner a little bit more get on the power a little bit better i'm just um uh, hopefully can get a little bit better straight line speed down the straight but we can see it's not really working and uh, like i was going to say that i'm quite happy with the performance i'm putting in we can see i'm only level six at the moment so my first race in this car against some uh, pretty fast guys there's a prestige one and there's a uh, the lexus rcf so i'm glad i'm putting up a bit of a fight compared to these guys especially around here but we're just trying to put our front bumper onto the back bumper of weight through any of these corners. Try force him into a mistake. He's gone defensive into this right-hander uphill. And if we come out of here, if we can get a better exit somewhat. We've got somewhat alongside uh, coming into the last part of the track. We almost lose the back end through there. Can we hang it around the outside? We've got pretty much quite wide through there. But we do manage to make the move up into second place as we now come on to the final lap. So we've got one lap to try to close down first position. Unfortunately, the gap has extended to almost three seconds at this point, and we now come to the last sector once again. And unfortunately, our aim of winning the race um, in our first race in the Ferrari uh, doesn't quite come into fruition. And uh, yeah, just because of that mistake, we've managed to lose first position, but I will be still happy with a second place in the end as we come through the final corner we take the line and we manage to take second position and I believe the M8 uh, managed to finish in third which yeah I don't know what happened to the guy in the RCF but I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will uh, see you in the next one.